Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Take a look at this great quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? I call this the illusion block because it just makes those squares want to pop off the quilt. They just look so dimensional. I love how it goes. It's so easy to make and I can't wait to show you how. So to make this quilt, what you need is one packet of 10 inch squares and the fabric we used is called basically basically Patrick and it's by Patrick Losey for RJR and it's just this bright happy line I just love it you're also going to need two yards of white fabric here for your sashings and you're going to need one and a quarter yards of gray fabric and it just is going to go together so fun wait till you see so how we're going to do this is we're going to take a 10 inch square just like this and we're going to cut it in half right in half so this is going to give us a five two five by 10 inch rectangles so we've got these rectangles right here and just like that each one of these is going to be its own block now what we have to do is sash each block one of the important things to remember is that all of the sashing takes place on the left hand side only so that's important to remember now our sashing the first row of sashing is made with these gray inch and a half strips you're going to cut some inch and a half strips the one side on the side of your block is uh, going to be a nine inch strip so let's go ahead and cut that one two three four five six seven eight nine we're going to have a nine inch strip here on the side of the block and it's nine because we're going to add a one and a half inch square to the end of this strip. So right here we have our one and a half inch square which we've also just cut a one and a half inch strip of white fabric and then cut our squares out of it. And we're going to lay those right sides together, sew a quarter of an inch down there. And let's go to the sewing machine and do that. I just, I just think this is such a fun quilt. It's such a great look. All right, let's iron this up. And if I measured right and cut right with any luck, it should fit just along the side of this block. So just like that, and it does. So now we're going to put these right sides together and we're going to sew down the left side of our block our little half block. All right, here we go. I'm going to take a couple of sticks to anchor, stitches to anchor it. Then I'm going to lift this up, make sure I'm lined right up together. And then we're just going to sew straight down the side. There we go. Now let's iron this open. Trim those threads off and then we'll iron it open. Just like this and then we have to add another strip right across the bottom same type of thing we're going to have a, um, a strip right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this right on here like this right sides together and I'm just going to trim off this edge this is going to make your gray strip is actually going to start out five inches and we're adding an inch and a half because that's what we have going on here. So let's go ahead and lay this together. And then I'm just going to trim this off. Now if I had gone ahead and cut that, it would have been a five inch square with an inch and a half quarter, corner square right here and then we're going to press that out. I just love how these look. They're so fun. Now the next thing that's going to happen is the sashing that occurs in between the blocks right here and it's still all on that left side. So what I like to do is I like to take a strip and I like to just chain piece these. So normally what I would do is I would sew all my grays on my blocks, all my gray sashings on my blocks, and then I would take them and I would chain piece them onto my white strip. Now to chain piece, what that means is that we're just going to put these on here and on the left hand side we're going to sew, sew this one, I'll add another one, we'll sew it, I'll add another one, we'll sew it. And so you'll have a, you'll have a whole bunch of these on one strip. Well, not a whole bunch, actually probably only a few, but uh, I like to do it that way. It just makes it quicker for me but you can always measure them and cut them to the exact uh, length you want as well.
All right. Now when you get down to the bottom down here, I'm just going to take this over here and we are going to lay it down flat like this. I like to trim before I iron because it's folded over and it just, it just, I just like the look of it. I think it lays a lot, a lot, a lot nicer, a lot flatter. All right. So now let's iron that part back right there. We're going to iron this back. And now we just need to add one to the bottom. And I will do the same thing. I'm just going to lay this on here like this and um, chain piece them down. So I would, I would do that with all my blocks. I'd do all the sides and then all the bottoms. But that's kind of personal preference. It's just really whatever, whatever you'd like to do. Because you can always measure them and cut them exactly before you get them done. It's, it's all going to turn out the same in the end. All right, so let's trim this off. And we'll press it open. Cut these threads over here. There we go. Now just as quick as that, your block is done. This is the block we're looking for. So you're gonna put those two sashings on the left hand side of every block you've got and then it's time to lay them out and set them together. So here's what we're going to do. This is so fun to see when this starts happening because it, it just goes together so quickly. So by putting our sashing on the left hand side and just sewing our blocks together like that, each block appears completely sashed but all we've done is sewn them on the left hand side. So you're going to sew your rows together just like this one after the other after the other. On the quilt that's behind me, I have um, 10 across the top and eight rows down. And, uh, and so that's all, I don't have a border on it. I just did it just exactly what I made out of with my 10 inch squares. And this is the size I made. It actually came out to be 64 by 84. Now one thing you have to remember is that over here you'll see as I get my rows sewn together, all of these are sashed, but this very last one right here. So once you get all your rows sewn together like this, the only thing left to do is to run a row of sashing down the side and across the top. That's all you have to do because the whole left side of everything is completely done. So it just makes a really fun, quick project. I love how it came out. I love how it looks. I love how it looks dimensional. And we just hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Illusion Block from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.